And all this stuff you see lined up here, like this piece of equipment, this one's being worked on, um, this test equipment, but everything you see lined up under and on the top shelf on here, down there, across here, is all used to test just a small portion of the electronic equipment that can exist in the aircraft that we're working on. Um, this this is uh, an aircraft that we have to touch. So I'm going to go over the room for this gentleman that just came in today. These are all the radios that I was speaking of that we can maintain on the bench. As a matter of fact, there isn't a single one in here. Well, we can do a, a modest amount of repair on this one, but all of these radios right here, we can repair down to the home level. A lot of equipment like this. This is a portable GPS, and that's a portable GPS as well that we don't have maintenance uh, uh, manuals for and they're not field repairable. Well, the lateral axis or the roll axis and it is called an aileron. An aileron. And when you pull that, as a matter of fact, you lean out here so you can see. Lean out here and look right back there. That is moving another control circuit. Do you know what that name of that one is? Is that the thing? Oh, man, I forget. That, that controls the pitch axis up and down, and it's called the elevator. The elevator. And then there's one more. I just forgot what it was called. There's one more. Jump down to this one, because i got to get up in there and get up. That's the third control service. See it moving back there? Yep. You know what that's called? It's a rudder. That's moving the front of it, yeah. That train trains the entire elevator. You see this? Um, this, this isn't bad because it's got the beat on it, but that right there uh, leaves what they call a Cessna tattoo. <laughs> All about the first axis, that's, that's spelled axis, A-X-I-S, is the roll axis. That's what we were talking about. And that turns it. And then there is the pitch axis, which is climbing or descend, or, um, yeah, descending. And then the rudder, is about the vertical axis right here. Swings so a roll tail. pitch and vertical, yeah, it swings the tail. And what the, the rudder's primary function to do is to create a coordinated turn where the aircraft is not sliding through the air. Sliding through the air is best described like this, it's going sideways through the air. So in an uncoordinated turn, even though the aircraft is turning, it can be slipping and that's an inefficient turn. So a coordinated turn Coordinated turn is your most efficient turn, so that's what the rudder does for you. But the same model aircraft, these are Cessna 185, and we've taken the entire panel apart to the extent that we can, all the instrumentation out, and we're starting from scratch. This gentleman's uh, purchasing uh, brand new panels that we're cutting out of uh, flat stock, and a number of new pieces of avionics, and while he's at it, he's having us do a whole bunch of cosmetic improvements up here to uh, uh, make it look a lot nicer because it's a 40-year-old aircraft. Aircraft just like the old cars. When this started out uh, at the factory, it had just this plastic, just like you're looking at that, sit, sitting there, and it wasn't covered. Then they get old, old and worn out, and just like cars, people start throwing the carpet in it to cover up the ugliness. <laughs> and so he's putting it back in the original condition. You can see how it's falling apart, and they've patched it up with metal. Big chunks of plastic missing there. So he's spending a, a little bit of money to uh, freshen up the interior. Different colors and whatnot, and we're starting from scratch with a piece of metal. Even though this is made with plastic, we're gonna make a fresh new panel for him out of uh, metal with silk screening on it and, and all matching colors for the interior of the aircraft. And all I can say is this gentleman has uh, obviously got more money than I do because I couldn't afford to do this.